I'm Nikki Sex, and I'm here to answer some of your questions. What is my bra size and booty measurements? Well, my bra size and booty measurements are size large. No, they're like about this big. -ish. I'm just kidding. They're like 46, 35, 46. So if you like the shape, then I'm the girl for you. When is a good time to get my attention? The best time to get my attention would be when I am maybe soaking in my bath right before bed and just kind of doing my thing, washing myself up. Not a lot of other things going on. Just me chilling. No distractions. And then you could ask me basically anything and you'll get you have my full engagement. Like I'm, I'm there, 100% in the bath, but I'm naked, setting up right before bed. Best time to get my attention. Do I celebrate any holidays? I happen to love to celebrate holidays. I am a fan of Groundhog Day, of course. Um, me and Puxatawney Phil, we go hard. Usually, we meet up every other year. And, um, through a house party. It's been a little different now since COVID, but I love holidays and Groundhog Day is my favorite. Do I have any favorite colors? I do have favorite colors. My most favorite color of all would happen to be yellow. Yellow is sunshiny and bright and happy and just yay! Um, my second favorite would be orange. I just feel like it's super, <laughs> it's just unrepresented. In it's unrepresented in the favorite colors category. It just, it's, you never hear anybody like, oh, what's your favorite color? Orange. Orange, I like that orange color. They don't. So I'm, I'm here to represent the underdog. Yellow and then orange. Do I have any favorite foods? I happen to love food and many are my favorites. My most favorite though probably is sushi. I just cannot get enough of it. In fact, every year for my birthday, I go and I, um, and I just, I, my, <laughs> my friends and I will go to like an all you can eat sushi buffet, which is, it's not a buffet, I'm sorry. <clears throat> it is an all you can eat sushi thing that you can buy. It's like a special thing. Okay, a buffet, you never go to any sushi buffet ever. Buffets, probably the quickest way to get food poisoning. But I do love to go on my birthday every year for this all-you-can-eat sushi extravaganza. And I, I guess I just love it. I, I fast for like 24 hours ahead of time and I'm just so excited when it's finally time. Like, yay! And then I just basically eat enough sushi to last me until next year. So. If I could change anything, what would it be? If I could change anything in the world, like anything at all, I think that I would change, I think I would change people's perspective of beauty. I think that there are lots, there's a lot to put on. I think that people in general put too much into looks, I guess. And that there's a lot of people that have so much to just, that are just great humans and so much to give to the world and yet aren't like given uh, the same type of opportunity as those that are beautiful or pretty or, or like stereotypically, you know, mm, gorgeous or whatever. You get the idea. It's that, I just want, I just want people who have qualities inside to not be overshadowed by what other people perceive as pretty or not, and then put put, put so much stock into looks, you know. Anyways, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I would change people's perspective of beauty. What do I look for in a man? Uh, I think the most important thing that I would want in a man would be someone who's humble. If you're cocky or full of yourself, I'm like, it is the biggest turnoff ever. So, 
I would like somebody who's who's like just chill and like happy and confident, but definitely no insecurities or jealousy kind of thing, but just cool, calm, collected, just and not full of themselves. Because that is not a good look. Do I work with sites that are just starting out? Absolutely. There's so many talented people out there. Even ZachTank.com. It's it's um it's it's refreshing to have directors or or um, just these creative artists basically able to use technology and websites and stuff to express themselves and you know just kind of like share that with the world basically so um, yeah of course I always want to be a part of that I have a lot of respect for those who are Starting, starting their new sites, taking on new adventures. Mm -hmm. So do I have a favorite book? I do have a favorite book. Um, as a kid, it was Alice Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. And it's just so easy to get lost in, in the words on the page. Mm, as I got older, I would say, um, at one point I was totally obsessed with the Twilight Saga. I, yeah, I was just so emotionally like invested in this book. So I was just page turning. I don't even know if I slept all week, like just to get to the book. And then um, um, probably even around the same time was um, The Heroine Diaries by Nikki Six. That one was very interesting. And um, yeah, of course I'm gonna support Nikki Six. <laughs> Do I have any? Do I have any hobbies? I do have hobbies. My hobbies include anything that involves some kind of creative expression and a physical, like, kind of hands-on creation type thing. By that I mean um, I love to paint. I love to build Legos. <laughs> I love to install flooring. And I love, um, Anything that you can do, even like a puzzle, like where you do it, you're you're in the moment, you're you're, and then you're just you, you make it, you build it, and then it, at the like end, there's a clear end point. Okay, it's done. You take that step back and kind of like see your progress or work, feel that satisfaction, and then swipe that puzzle right back into the box. Move on. I just I like anything that's. Um, hands-on, kind of creative, and beginning and ends, and then just, I like that feeling of satisfaction at the end, that's, my, that's what I get off on for whatever reason. My favorite place in the world would be, I think my favorite place in the world is this place, it's kind of mid-California, it's in the middle, kind of sort of part of California, right on the coast. And it's um, Big Sur in, in Cambria right there. And I think that that's my favorite place because I had such a great experience there, um, you know, a long time ago. And, and it's kind of this mystical, magical place that I just, it, would, it just pulls at my heartstrings to go back to. And the other place that I truly love would be um, Sacramento, I almost said Sacramento, I'm sorry. My, the other place I truly love is um, Oregon. It's such a nice green, like, uh, just so much unlike Southern California. And you can go on a walk and pick berries and then go home and make a pie with these berries. So I don't know about you all, but that's not something we can regularly do here. So I think that's my other favorite place. The most important thing in my travel bag that I cannot live without would be um, my makeup case. At least my eyebrow pencil and foundation, mascara. Oh, and my straightener. Other than that, I'm good. Like, I don't care. I don't even need soap. Just kidding, no. But uh, my most important thing in my travel bag would definitely probably just be my makeup case. 
Yeah, because if you feel like good and you look good, nothing can hold you back. You just can't be stopped. So, yeah, my makeup. <laughs> How do I feel about video games? Do I have a favorite one? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I happen to have a favorite video game. And in general, when it comes to video games, my perspective is I think they're kind of essential at this point. It's part of our culture and it's it's totally legitimately okay for a 36 year old man to be playing video games. Like it's fine and it's encouraged because if you're in a relationship with that dude, you, it's not a bad thing for him just to have his own moment and like do his own thing or even myself to have my own moment and do my own thing. I personally happen to be semi-addicted to Fortnite right now. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I just randomly, like my nephew, I played a game one time and anyways, it was, it was a wrap after that. So I am on season whatever going on however long now. I mean, not too long and I'm getting better, but um, I need to play like every day at least. Like at least one or two games. So, yeah. Perfect. Where can people find me online? Oh, you can find me online at thenikkisex.com. Thenikkisex.com with two X's at the end. Do I have a favorite movie? I do have a favorite movie. My favorite movie happens to be William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet with um, Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes. And I have, oh, I was so in love and so obsessed. I would watch this movie every day for years. Um, just, I loved it. And I've never loved a movie so much prior to that or since then. So it definitely takes the cake for a favorite movie. Do I have a favorite top five musicians or bands? If I had to choose a top five favorite musicians or bands, like living or dead, I would say, um, kind of like my Romeo and Juliet movie thing, the, the award would go to Lil' Kim. I, again, was so inspired and just so, just, 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 just couldn't get enough of <laughs> her album that and I've never been so passionate about another artist or album or anything for then or since then so my definitely top 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 musician would be Lil' Kim. Do I prefer ranch or honey mustard? Of course I prefer ranch over honey mustard. No offense to honey mustard. I mean it's great and all. I guess. No um but ranch is amazing. Especially if you have um, ranch from this place that we have here in Southern California, it's called Toppers. They have the most amazing ranch ever. Their recipe happens to be um, ranch seasoning with buttermilk and then mayonnaise and you let that sit overnight. Sounds kind of weird and gross, but it's so good. You can put that on anything. You just drink it almost. So, definitely a ranch over honey mustard. How do I feel about marijuana legalization? I think marijuana legalization is a good opportunity for, I guess, entrepreneurs or um, small businesses to kind of find their niche. And if they're really good at what they do, they can, you know, profit and and excel in, in that arena. I think that it's definitely saved a lot of lives. And I've witnessed firsthand people who went from you know, taking Norcos and Vicodins to deal with whatever pain they had to n not being, you know, addicted to pills anymore, but okay. And it was strictly because they they were prescribed marijuana. And it's it's just, it's depending on the person's situation, it is life-saving. And I feel very strongly that it has, it has definitely has a place in this world and it should be here. <laughs> Do I have a favorite sports team? You know, I don't particularly, but I definitely feel a little obligated to support our local Rams teams, especially since we're winning the Super Bowl this year. And of course the Lakers, because it's just, it's all, it's part of my hometown and I've got that local pride, I guess. 
So I guess I would say the Rams and the um, Lakers would be my favorite sports team if I had to choose. How do I feel about ZachTank.com? I think when I was on ZachTank.com, I was first impressed by the um, by the originality and the creativity and the passion that I could see for Zach Tank's um, like product. I mean, his website. He seems passionate about it. There were there, you know, there are updates daily, multiple updates every day which is admirable. It takes a lot of effort and energy to to upkeep that. And also just even the fact that I'm doing this in our interview, it's, it takes somebody with that passion and drive to, to like even reach out and make this happen. So I have a lot of respect for Mr. Zach. And I think that the website has a lot of potential backed by a lot of passion and so I look forward to see it evolve over the next you know few years and 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 see how how it all evolves it's gonna be awesome and I also definitely admire the originality because it's all like a personal endeavor and, and you see a lot of um, um, I guess truth I don't know if that's the right word but you see a lot of um, like it's honest almost so you see these girls in interviews and it's it's real. It's not some overproduced kind of setup. I just I admire it. I think it's awesome. So good luck. I'm like yay for ZachTank.com. Well, thank you ZachTank.com and everybody who is watching my interview. And um, thank you for the opportunity to answer these questions. And I wish you so much prosperity. And I admire you following your dreams and and or just desires or passions or whatever so it's pretty admirable i respect it so much so i wish you the best so thank you everybody and thank you so i'm nikki sex and goodbye